What is up you guys, Dennis Garcia here. How the fuck are you guys doing? I, I'm doing fantastic and I just wanna quickly apologize for the fact that my hair looks like complete garbage. I just got out of the shower not too long ago, just brushed my hair back. Usually I would put on my beanie, but my beanie is actually in the car and I don't wanna go all the way downstairs to get it because I'm in my underwear and I'm very comfortable and I don't wanna leave my room. But as you guys uh, can tell by that little quick introduction that I just said, I'm, I'm in my room. I am back in my room, I'm back in Phoenix, I'm back in Arizona. Arizona. I have some stories to tell you about why there is no Baltimore vlog. As you guys saw in my last vlog, which was the New York vlog, I told you guys that I was going to be traveling to Baltimore and that we were going to spend the rest of our time in the East Coast in Baltimore and that there would be a vlog of my time in Baltimore. We left New York on May 16th, which was a Wednesday, and we got there uh, Wednesday night and I was advised by my older brother and the guy that we were staying with, whose name is Jose, amazing host, amazing dude. Thank you for allowing us to stay in your home for 10 days um, and putting up with us. I really, really appreciate it. But I was advised by them that I should not pull out my $2,000 camera and my $1,000 iPhone X to vlog during any point of the day because I could get potentially robbed, murdered, or jumped for my belongings. So when I was alone and exploring Baltimore by myself, I did not pull out my phone, I did not pull out my camera. I had my AirPods on, but that is only because I had on my hat and it covered the AirPods. So I didn't really feel comfortable vlogging in public. Um, I did get a lot of footage for my brother. We did film a lot of stuff for his projects and the stuff that he was doing while in Baltimore. All in all, Baltimore was actually a really, really, really amazing uh, place to explore and visit, aside from the fact that there are a lot of drug stuff going on along with like corruption with the polices and gang violence. Um, aside from all of that negative stuff that Baltimore gets, my experience with Baltimore was nothing but positive. Um, I only had like two experiences where I was really concerned for my well-being. Um, but aside from that, I never really feared my life while I was there, um, which was nice. I met a lot of people, a lot of amazing people that my brother works with. Um, and I got to just kind of see what he does when he's out traveling and doing his projects. And it was really, really, really freaking cool. We had this one moment before I left Baltimore to go to Washington, D.C. to get ready to go back home where um, a prostitute came up to our car. And this prostitute came up to us and she was like, hey, do you guys have a quarter or anything so I can take the bus? And none of us had any cash on us, any change or anything. So we were like, no, we, we don't have any cash. I'm sorry. And so she approaches the car, puts her hand down in the passenger seat where I'm sitting at, reaches down to my dick, grabs my dick, and then goes, whose dick is that? And laughs. And at that moment, I just kind of blacked out. I blacked out and I was like, I was in shock. I was like, this woman just came up to my window, grabbed my dick, asked whose dick is that, and I, I remember telling her, it's not yours, um, you're barking up the wrong tree, I am not straight, and she just kind of like laughed and just walked away, and it was, it was fucking hilarious. It was so fucking funny, I wish I would have recorded it. I literally had my camera on me on like, on my leg, but it wasn't on, and I thought she was like trying to like reach in for my 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 camera or something but no she just she wanted a handful of dick and uh she got it yeah i came back home on monday and uh i actually have a little surprise for you guys um if you guys have not seen my instagram yet or follow me on any of my socials i actually finally went to go and pick up my lizard um i saw my ex monday we met up about two hours after i landed to go pick up my lizard and uh, the exchange was actually really, really good. You know, there wasn't any awkwardness there. There wasn't any, like, animosity or anything residual from the past. We have both have grown up and just moved on. And it was a very pleasant exchange, but I do finally have my little water dragon with me. Let me show you guys so you guys can meet him. He's currently in his tank because um, it's still early and he's just relaxing and he needs to get some sunlight, so I have his lights on. But, uh, guys meet Leo. So I'm gonna do like a little proper 
meeting sometime within this vlog sometime but for now I just want you guys to see him in his little habitat so this is his little home right there and there's my little boy he's so big now he's so fat I actually have not seen him in like two and a half years and uh, when I had left him he was still like a little preteen baby boy and now he's a full grown ass adult and it's fucking crazy it is it is so fucking insane but i'm gonna go get ready i don't know what i have planned for today i was supposed to go see my boyfriend um but he hasn't really told me the okay to go and um he lives up north in phoenix which is like a good hour 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 15 away um so i don't really want to start driving until he tells me that like he's ready and dressed and showered and has done all that he needs to do this morning to spend the day with me. So I don't know if I'm gonna see him. I don't know if I'm gonna spend the day seeing my boyfriend today. Oh, that light is harsh and bright. But um, I'm still in my underwear. I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna apply for some jobs because now that I'm back, I, <laughs> I need to find a job because money and bills and payments. Guess where I currently am right now. I'm in line at Dutch Bros. Getting my Dutch Bros coffee that I have not had in the last three fucking weeks. It has been three weeks since I've had Dutch Bros. Uh, I think this is the longest that I've gone without having Dutch Bros. Ever since I started college in January. I've had Dutch Bros at least twice a week for the last four or five months. Five months, yeah. For the last five months. And since my trip to the East Coast, I have not had coffee or Dutch Bros coffee for the last three weeks. I've had coffee. Um, some crappy, shitty, not so good Starbucks coffee. But I'm happy to be back in Phoenix and happy to be back in a place that has Dutch Bros. And I am so fucking excited to just take my first sip of Dutch Bros coffee in three weeks. Uh, so today I actually have to go and run some errands. Um, some quick errands, nothing too major, nothing too time consuming. I have to go and get some food for my lizard because my ex, whenever we, whenever we exchanged, you know, whatever, um, he gave me some food for him, but he already ate it. So I got to go to Petco or PetSmart or whatever ones around here and go get Leo some, um, frozen mice because that's what he eats now as an adult, which I had no idea. When I was with my ex, we used to feed, um, cockroaches, crickets, mealworms, and goldfish or fish, some type of fish. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go to PetSmart and buy a, a few things. Um, but the PetSmart that's, that I'm close to is in downtown Phoenix and I live all the way on the west side of Phoenix. So I don't know if I'm gonna get anything that comes in a plastic bag. Cause usually what we do is we get them like a plastic bag full of like cockroaches or crickets but it's really hot out lately and I don't want the crickets to like die and suffocate from the heat in their plastic bag. So for sure, I'm gonna get them some frozen mice, um, but I don't know what else I'm gonna get them. I also wanna go and check out this place that I haven't been to in a while, only because I haven't really had a pet in a while. Um, there's this place on like 19th Avenue and Peor Peoria called Custom Creatures, and they sell a bunch of like really exotic pets like all types of like tarantulas spiders bugs insects lizards like all types of really cool exotic pets um, but they also sell um, like bugs and food for for pets so I'm gonna go first over there and see if I can get like a good price on some insects because I know that like Petco and PetSmart are usually expensive when it comes to food because they're a big corporation uh, so I'm trying to see if uh, by any chance that that pet shop that, that's here in town is a little bit cheaper when it comes to um, food. But I'm about to get my coffee, so I'm gonna come back when I have my coffee and take my first sip on camera for you guys. P.S. Uh, I'm also recording this vlog on my iPhone because I don't wanna carry around my Canon 80D while I'm driving. You guys know how I feel about vlogging and driving. I don't mind it, uh, but only because I'm recording on my iPhone and like my iPhone is not that, that heavy. But if I was actually filming on my Canon 80D, like that shit would be really heavy. And I'm like, I'm driving with my three fingered hand. So like, it's not the easiest to do when I have a Canon 80D in one hand, um, but <laughs> we're doing it. We are making it happen. We are vlogging. I'm a good driver, guys. I watch the road. Don't even worry about me. But um, I have my Dutch Bros coffee right here. 
Uh, today I got something different that I don't usually get. Usually I get the white chocolate mo mocha, um, but this time I got a dark chocolate mocha, which is something that I've never tried, but it sounded good, so I decided to go, to go for it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have my first sip of Dutch Bros coffee in the last three weeks, and I'm so fucking excited. Hold on, we're gonna pull up to a stoplight, so we're just gonna pull up here and uh, go for it. Oh my god. Holy fuck, that tastes glorious. Mmm. Mmm. You guys, Dutch Bros is like so freaking amazing. Like, I just, I love Dutch Bros so fucking much. Like, you guys have no idea how fucking obsessed I am with this fucking coffee shop. Like, I am a diehard Stan fan. Whatever you want to fucking call it, I, I love Dutch Bros. But, um, my order, at least this order that I got, I got a, a dark chocolate mocha, light ice with an extra shot. I always get an extra shot. No matter like, how much it is, I always need that extra kick of espresso in my body and my system running through my veins, giving me that energy that I require to be a normal human being in society. Quick update on the lizard food adventure that I'm currently on. <laughs> I just left Custom Creatures and they are actually out of a lot of the insects that I wanted to buy for my lizard. They carry pretty much everything. Um, they just, they're out of stock of a lot of stuff and they don't get um, any stock until next Thursday. So that's about a week away. So I'm on, I'm on my way to PetSmart now to kind of see what I can buy for him over there. Um, just to kind of hold them off until next week because I do want to come back to uh, the custom creature shop and buy him some like actual food. I really don't like buying from like huge corporations, um, but I mean, that's the only option that I really have right now. I don't really want to drive anywhere else. So I'm just gonna go to PetSmart, grab a couple of things here and there to last them about a week or two, and then go back to Custom Creatures next week and buy him some hornworms and some uh, roaches and crickets. I ended up just buying my lizard two four packs of frozen mice uh, i was trying to buy him some other stuff some other insects but they didn't have anything else at PetSmart either it seems just like every every shop that i've gone to is just running out of bugs and insects and crickets and all crickets are insects but whatever um, i have a frozen mice defrosting right now in some water that my little brother is going to feed uh to leo this is my brother christian as you guys know, he looking like a pencil, looking like an eraser. Uh, but let me show you guys, in case you guys have never seen what a dead mouse in a plastic bag looks like ready for feeding, I have my little brother show you. Christian, show the people. So this right here is what I'm gonna feed my little lizard in about five minutes. It's, I think it's almost defrosted. Yeah, oh yeah, it feels, it feels soft. All right, so go ahead and put that back on, Christian, so he can defrost a little bit more. But I also realized that I haven't showed you guys Leo out of his cage. So I'm gonna show you guys my little, my little pride and joy, my little baby uh, that I haven't seen in like two and a half years besides when I got him Monday. So here he is, guys. This is Leo, my Chinese water dragon. Let me show you, Oop, that's him right here on camera he doesn't really look that big but trust me he's a big fat boy so i'm going to show you guys when the mouse is defrosted how this little fucker eats his mice my little brother actually has to play with the dead mouse in order to get him to eat it because apparently it's too complicated for him to eat a dead mouse so what my brother does, which is disturbing and I can't do yet, is he grabs it by the tail and like plays with it so that my pet thinks that he's alive and then he goes in for the kill, supposedly, because it's, it's dead, but he thinks it's alive. So um, I want to show you guys real quick how he eats. Okay, so we have a little hole, so I think we should just drink. Yeah, yeah. so go ahead and put it upside down. Oh, that's... That's delicious looking. Oh, that looks so gross. Drop it on the car. Oh, and there it is on the carpet. Come here, baby. All right. Ready? Let's see if he eats it. Here, baby. 
And is he going to eat it? Is he going to eat it? Okay, he's not going to eat it, so you're going to have to play with it so that he can eat it. There he goes. Move <laughs> it a little more. What up? Oh! Oh! Fuck! Gross! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that is so... Oh, I'm watching it. I'm watching it. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> so this is what they do usually. They put it in their mouth and they hold it there for a while and they slowly start to digest it and put it all the way inside of their mouth since and all that shit so um yeah that's that's what he does oh he's eating it he's oh he's chewing it oh and it's cracking oh that is that is oh oh and swallowing the tail mmm so ooh. <laughs> and that Hi guys, I know, lighting's fantastic, right? It is currently two in the morning on Saturday. Um, currently editing the vlog, and I realized that I forgot to do an outro, so I'm doing an outro for you guys right now, here real quick on my iPhone with my laptop as my uh, night light. So, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me feed my little water dragon, and I hope that you guys enjoyed the fact that I have my little Chinese water dragon back. I'm really excited to have him back in my life. It has been a long two and a half years since I've wanted him back. And the fact that I have him back is, it's really fucking amazing. Um, I'm not looking forward to all of the times that I'm gonna have to feed him insects and mice. But aside from that, I have been enjoying having my little Leo back immensely. And I'm so, so happy. Um, yeah, I hope that you guys are looking forward to more vlogs with me and and leo and um and my brother and my family and my boyfriend and you guys are gonna get to meet a lot of people in my life because i'm gonna start vlogging a lot more i'm actually uh vlogging every day now which is really fucking weird because i never thought that i would be vlogging every day but i don't know that trip to the east coast changed me i had to vlog and film in public and kind of get my anxiousness and my shyness out of the way so i feel more comfortable now talking in public and vlogging in public and pulling out my camera in public um so yeah i'm gonna start vlogging more so you should be seeing a lot more videos from me um from now on uh, until further notice but Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed my little water dragon. If you guys want to follow me on all of my social medias and keep up with me when I'm not on YouTube posting videos, you can keep up with me in between uploads on my uh, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. I'll put all the links down in the description box below so you guys can go and follow me on all of my social medias. Aside from that, I hope that you guys are having a good day and a good week and a good month and a good year. And I will see you guys on the next vlog.